Hello, person. Who are you? Oh, Randolph. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Triple A. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Okay. I have some comments to make, but before that, I guess I better escape before that. Okay. Cops don't shoot at people just because they run away, and they certainly don't shoot like a foot away from a civilian. That is that is just stupid and it doesn't make any sense and no one does that. And why would you threaten so to unload in someone's face just because someone called about a suspicious event? That's all it was. It's not like anyone had any reason to think I was armed or violent or anything like that. It was just somewhat suspicious called in tips. So someone comes in with guns blazing and then shoots and I run away? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh shit. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dead. That was just crappy writing. That was really poorly done. That's just cliched garbage. That whole sequence there. But never mind. Not that big of a deal. Oh shit. They're a coming. And I'm a reading. For decades. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Uh oh, I heard that tree, it's coming down. It's coming down. Holy crap. Darkness might save me from the police. Yeah. The police don't shoot at people just because they run. Alright, what's back here? Oh, I think I see something. That agent even had a, uh, a clue.
clever quip while he was about to unload in my face. Really, everything about that sequence was just cliched crap. Everything about it. It made so many mistakes in such a really close together format that I can't even really pick it apart. It all happened a bit too fast. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. You're not going to find me. Actually, you might. Or not. Sounds like the darkness is coming. Crush the forest upon them. <laughs> it's actually helping me for once. I don't give a crap about their lives. They're a bunch of attempted murderers. The was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Every single one of them just fired upon me upon seeing me. They are all attempted murderers, so they can all fucking die. I don't care about them. I hear a helicopter. Did it see me? Nothing to see. Oh, well. Get him, crows. That thing is going down. Whoa. Hope that doesn't start a forest fire. Hmm. What is that? Thermos. That's the best use of mounted binoculars, finding glowing thermoses. And water. Water. Wow, that is a sad bed. That can't be comfortable. Uh, this is Jane Mulligan Thornton. Come in, over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we 
We got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. They didn't put up a fight or anything. But it was... Hey, what are you doing? Come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over! Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's dropped or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that Fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of Oda Scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet you does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All looking out. <laughs> And knowing Agent Nightingale by interview, he probably means torture. Because that's what the police do. Not. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Well, but that is my goal. What if the guy's manning it right now? Wait, how do I get there? I was going the wrong way. God, I still don't even have a flashlight. I need something. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Main seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Hopefully. Hopefully he's not going to be dead. Oh shit. Uh shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Okay, need a flashlight. I thought it was gonna fly at me and bash me in the head. Oh, hello. Oh damn it. That's alright, I have a coffee thermos for unknown purposes. Damn good cup of coffee. That's all I need. Who needs light? I have a coffee thermos. That is used for something that is still unknown. Alright, let's start this thing up. Ah. Here we go. Hello and goodbye. Well, wow, that didn't last long. That sounded painful. <laughs> Try that again. Didn't actually hurt him, but it really does sound painful. Oh. Gotta do it again. What? What's that? Yes, a flashlight. Pick it up, pick it up. Any weapon, by chance? Nope. Hmm, I bet there's something back here. Never mind. 